So um, I'm from Voice Blogging Project, which is a project I do not uh, as a side project from my day job, which is at Oxfam working in digital campaigning. And Voice Blogging Project started as an inspiration from the NRDC in the US when they set up a blogging tent outside the Democratic National Convention. And the reason they did that is because the base of the Democrats weren't being listened to on a lot of the key smaller topics. So they were focusing on the media and what the media were covering, which was like three or four big topics. And they weren't really covering what their base and what the people were going to go out to vote for them really wanted them to address. Things like disability issues, things like environmental issues and lots of different smaller issues. So they basically convened a tent at, outside and um, organised lots of bloggers to get there. And initially, the bloggers weren't um, treated that well by uh, the, the convention committee. Um, they weren't allowed to go into official spaces. But the buzz and the energy and the interest that this blogging tent generated meant that um, key politicians, media, journalists started coming to them. And they became the place to be seen. Um, there's a great video online of Katie Couric going there and getting very excited about a milkshake. She thought the bloggers were being treated better than them. So, um, what happened is that when the, uh, it was announced that G20 in 2009 was going to be done in London and it was going to deal with the financial crisis, I thought, ooh, this is an interesting moment. And I, one of the things I was concerned about is that we knew that NGOs weren't going to be invited um, to have access to be in the media centre. And one of the things that concerned me, again, is that what was going to be covered by media were the big issues in terms of um, the impact of financial crisis on banks, but not particularly on people, um, not particularly on decisions coming up about the environment, and not particularly on um, um, in interesting things like tax havens. So I managed to convince the UK government at the time to let me bring 50 bloggers um, from around the world. And I'm sure, I can actually know how I did that, but it was a bit of a field of dreams approach. I just sort of went for it, and it eventually happened. And we let them tell the story from their perspective of what was being said. We because they were interesting and had interesting things to say, um, we, had, uh, we had the Sherpas, which are the lead policy makers, come and give them special briefings, um, and en ended up e enabling media to cover the story in a different way through the eyes of these bloggers. So it was a great event, and we, it was a one-off, and then we thought, wow, this is um, it's quite interesting. We could do this again. So what we did is we did it again. We, we organized with lots of other organizations and went to the UN Climate Change Conference and again enabled bloggers to get access. Now the UN did not know how to deal with bloggers. They didn't have a process for um, getting bloggers accreditation. So we offered like an accreditation process with the UN to sort of enable bloggers to get there. When, and from there, that's basically the repeat that story a few times at different events. So what we learned was really Field of Dreams approach does work, interesting enough, that there is a desire for people to know what's going on at these big conferences when normally they just appear on nightly news and you never hear of them again. They want to know a deeper story. They want to know um, the build-up. They want to know what's the scuttlebutt's happening. Um, and the other thing I think I learned really was the, the networks that these events generated between the bloggers have become really important. So out of the first lot of bloggers that we um, took, uh, many of them have gone on to either write for media, have become to be influential commentators on particular issues, and they've also set up their own networks in their own countries. So there's now um, blogging networks in Afghanistan, there's blogging networks um, um, in India and in um, Uganda that because of the people that we brought together, um, they were able to connect. We've heard a lot about blogging in terms of what works in the UK, but for me, internationally, I think um, it's a lot harder for people to tell their stories. In countries, particularly where media is repressed and there's maybe only state government, bloggers are taking enormous risks to deliver stories, um, to get stories out, to um, share the real stories happening on the ground. And in terms of what can be achieved and how media are looking at how to use these stories, I think we need to look at the networks that we're creating. Now, the networks we're creating are 
in the UK, there's some networks going on, um, and, but what I do worry about is that we don't have enough networks and we're not talking to each other and being more competitive that, rather than collaborative. So, voice, ooh, there's, it's going off. So, the big thing we're offering is two things with voice. One, uh, um, to sign up with us as bloggers um, and to get access to opportunities that will happen around the world, but also in the UK, so you can get to different events you may not normally have access to, um, but also get to know other bloggers and to have buddy systems and to talk to bloggers in other countries where you can work together on projects. And the second thing is about to launch uh, Blog Action Day again, which will be on October 16th, where we're trying to open up the world of blogging about sort of more big important issues to people that may have a social marketing blog or blog about their fish or blog about something else and to give them the opportunity to connect and have a, a, a different experience with blogging and that way um, we can also make sure that the voices that come through with blogging are not just ourselves talking to ourselves but we're actually reaching more audiences and with a different message. Thanks very much.